In April of 2010, I had a chance to go up and do a week of backcountry skiing in southeast Alaska at the Ultima Thule Lodge in the Wrangell St. Elias Mountains. Because of the remoteness of the Ultima Thule Lodge, the only way to get there is fly in, land the plane at the lodge, and then do day trips from there. One of the peaks we skied on this outing was <laughs> called Solidarity. It's there a 5,000 foot pyramid shaped peak that we were able to ski right from the very summit all the way down into the glaciated valley below. I was able to ski it with the friend Reto from Switzerland and it was just an amazing descent. Every inch of the way was perfect. It took us about two hours to skin up Solidarity Peak. You can see the skin track there off to the right. The set down took uh, about half that. We were stopping, taking photos, enjoying the outing. It's such a wild location that you're not really in a hurry to make it down. You just want to savor the whole thing. This descent had a little bit of everything. Right from the top, it had a steep ridge line that you had to carefully ski down, and it turned into a big open powder field, and it turned into a big broad ridge line like we're skiing on now. It was always wide enough for two or three sets of tracks so you didn't have to get pushed off to the side into some of the more avalanche-prone slopes. What I am following here is Rudy Homberger from Arosa, Switzerland. Rudy has traveled all around the world, but his favorite place on Earth is the Wrangell St. Elias Mountains, and he's the guy that first introduced me to this area. He'd, count, he'd come up here year after year, and he'd be like, oh, Andrew, you have to come check this out. And the first time I did, I knew what he was talking about. It's an amazing place. Part of the attraction for Rudy is that he's a pilot, so he gets to fly, then he gets to land the plane, hike up, and ski down. Kind of a perfect combination of things. This is about two-thirds of the way down Solidarity, after it's gone from a distinct ridge line into some more open fields. The great thing about this run is that it just had so much variety to it. Here we're going by Tom. Tom was staying out at the Ultimate Thule Lodge while we were out there as well. Came along for a ski tour with us, had a good time. Here we're getting down towards the uh, crevassed glacial area down below. The cool thing about skiing in the Wrangells is that you just get everything. It's got some of the highest peaks in North America. It's got uh, huge ski descents. It's got glaciers, uh, steeps, powder, flats, just about everything you can look for. Uh, here we're going down into the more glaciated terrain down at the bottom of Solidarity Peak. These are all uh, crevasses, but it's a very old glacier, so the crevasses tend to be pretty good in the time that we're there. After some big wide open aprons, we made it back down towards the base of the route where there's a large glaciated ice fall. So I was following Homeby back here. We're about to get onto this wild 20 foot wide bridge that went right through the center of the ice fall. It fell off about 40 feet on each side into buried over crevasses. It was just crazy wild skiing. I've never done anything like this. Just to be able to ski right through the center of an ice fall on this perfect bridge. After the sidewalk ran out, we still had to navigate through the bottom part of the ice fall. Skied by Tom there, and now I'm going around some old filled in crevasses and up over some ridges to try to work my way down into those open snow fields down below. This section involved a lot of slow cautious skiing as we crossed over and around a bunch of different obstacles. We're trying to work our way down here I'm following along behind Homby on the final stretch heading back towards the plane. Plains are a big part of skiing in the Wrangell St. Elias mountain range because it's so vast. Uh, a trip like this is a day trip from the Ultima Thule Lodge, but otherwise without a plane you'd have multiple days of getting out to this area over very rugged terrain, oh, climb, the ski the peak, and then reverse on. it all the way back. So <laughs> We've got Reto hopping into the plane, getting all buckled in safe and sound, then homie's going to gun the plane down the glacier, take off, and head back towards the lodge. Flying back to the Ultimate Tully Lodge, they've got a large dirt landing strip that they usually land out there. But because this time of year was low snow, and it had also been a low snow year, we were landing on what's called an ice pan, which is in the Chitna Riverbed, off to the side is just a large flat piece of frozen snow and ice out there that you land on. Landing on the ice pan meant that we then had to cross back over the Chitna River 
And we were three skiers. We have much more experience skiing than boating. So it was a big adventure for us to navigate through this, <laughs> crashing into this <laughs> overhanging section for getting the boat back under the pole and making it back to the lodge. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>